what is going on guys thank you for coming back and watching another video of ours i really appreciate you guys guys right off the rip i just want to send a huge shout out to brunt brunt makes a whole bunch of work boots and accessories for the hardworking people and thank you to those guys i now finally have a set of brunt work boots i've been trying to get a hold of them for a long time to try to get one but man they kept selling out they kept selling out and from the reviews i kept seeing that they were top of the line very comfortable lightweight and they wouldn't last so after getting a hold of them i finally got me a set of brunt work boots y'all check them out real quick i'm not going to take too much of your time but i am going to try them out and in exactly one week let's say two weeks i'm gonna do a follow-up video so if you need some boots check out brunt work boots you can find them on instagram or online you won't be disappointed because i know somebody that has them and he said dude trust me get them you won't be disappointed i'm gonna go ahead and open these real quick that way i can take a look at them first i want to just say that fedex literally left them outside the shop when it was pouring down in rain uh but i don't know what this box is made of as you can tell all the inside is dry everything else is wet check it out but the inside remained dry they came wrapped in this nice little plastic nice little towel but y'all check out the new work boots right off the bat you can tell they're going to be comfortable they're actually pretty light the ones that i have on now are super heavy i'm not going to name the company because i used to use them a lot but yeah i think this is going to be the the new go-to company that we use for work attire uh if i like them i'm gonna order some for the guys uh every christmas i buy these guys work boots so maybe christmas is gonna come early for these guys let me go ahead and try them on real quick Ooh, check them out guys i can already tell that they're a lot lighter than my old boots so we're gonna give them a try see how they feel how we like them how comfortable they are how lightweight they are they are uh waterproof they are slip resistant and if i'm not mistaken they're actually uh electrical hazard safe or something like that uh these are steel toe around the shop you do know that for a fact you need steel toe with all these heavy rear ends a lot of the heavy duty trucks that we get here differential stuff like that are super heavy so especially you know the sheet metal and all that, that we work around with uh it's super heavy so steel toes a must slip resistance a must and waterproof is a must because if you've been following me for a long time you know that we get late to set up outside and it's no good so we're gonna give them a try wear them for a whole week see how we like them and then go from there y'all enjoy the video guys don't forget that the giveaway ends the last day of may so if you haven't gotten your entries in do so now because once it's gone that thing is gone uh remember that if you win we are going to be building that truck alongside of you uh we're going to try to get you in the videos as much as possible and stuff like that so whenever that truck is done you will pretty much have a pretty nice decent show truck that you can start going to shows with traveling around with your family or whatever the sancha whatever i don't care that's whatever you do with the truck is your business but uh yeah guys don't forget last day i made to get entered it's coming up quick don't forget to shop online i'm gonna run a bunch of specials so after this video make sure you go check it out because you don't want to miss it all right guys so welcome back this is a new day today we got a whole bunch of stuff going on the guys are outside working their asses off trying to get this bumper fitted on a big old huge lifted truck that we've been having a hard time putting this bumper on but mondo finally figured it out uh with a little bit of cutting and welding and whatnot we got that thing squared away and they're installing it right now right now we're doing a four seven on the single cam we are replacing the leaf springs because the ones that it had had missing parts uh we are doing new drop shocks flip kit underbed we are doing four inch upper and lower control arms we're doing new inners new outer tie rods new struts basically this thing came in with the suspension all trashed and we're fixing to get this guy rolling right today also y'all check out uh chase's OBS bed for project uh i forgot what we named it but uh it wasn't a good name but yeah back from the dead so we got the bed from back from the dead on the OBS truck because i don't know if y'all remember that OBS truck i'll show y'all that truck right now in a little bit it literally man it looked like someone took it to the end of the world and back with the work they did on it so we got it all squared up we're doing the bed that's the last step we're gonna do spaces for it mount it get it hooked up and get it rolling get it out of here hopefully it leaves by friday today's thursday so saturday we're not going to be here because we will be at texas hold'em guys make sure that you go to that show because it's a really badass show it's at a new venue at the humble civic center if you go i'll catch you guys there first i'm going to go get a haircut because i'm throwing y'all check out what it takes to get this floor up and welded the proper way 
Y'all see all those holes along the bed? Those are all spot wells that we took off. That way, this way. We drilled all the spot wells all the way around, all through here. We still gotta cover these up once we lift it up. This whole floor is gonna go up. So, the floor is already done, see it? So that whole floor is gonna come up to like about right here, and then we're gonna re-weld it all the way across. Uh, we had already did this to my boy Tito's truck. It came out nice, uh, he liked it, so we're gonna do that to Chase's truck. Todavía le falta alinearse, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Eh, bueno, listo, finalmente está bien. Aquí está bien pegado, ya está abierto. Vamos a quedar. ¿Ya recuerdas el truck? Sí. ¿Dónde queda el cofre de conversión de Eri? ¿Y eso que Eri no está chaparrito? No, Eri no está chaparrito. Y mira dónde están los headlights. Es pasado su eyesight. Este güey no está chaparrito. Lo miran en el show y están así. Ahí está. 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 Nah, but yeah, this is, this is a huge truck. Y'all check it out. Look at the mirror. I don't even reach it, look. That's how high this truck is. And right now the guys, what they're doing, they're squaring up the bumper. Everything's tack welded right now because they did all new brackets for it. Lo estoy grabando yo acá, así, da, para que los mire trabajar. Y ahí tú sola la verga ahí. Solo, solo les pega el sol y mucha agresividad. Yeah, the guys are taking the bumper off right now as we speak. Cosmondo's fixing a fully welded, get it on there, call the customer, tell them to come pick it up. He says uh, he can't see me on the camera. No, I can now. I said when. Oh, on the other side. Oh, okay, okay, okay. God damn, hasta con la luz. Bloopers. Also, guys, huge shout out to my boy Pale. <laughs> yeah, bloopers cut. Um, also, guys, huge shout out to my boy Pale. Uh, he needed some dimple dyes because his machine messed up. My bead roller messed up. So whenever I need something bead rolled, I call Pale. Whenever he needs something dimple dye, he comes to me and we take care of it. So he brought it to me. They didn't have no holes or nothing. We ended up marking them, making the holes. And then this is the finished product. This is the finished product. As you can tell, the dimple dies, the backside. And then he's still gonna do bead roll around here. If I'm not mistaken, this is for the de Carlos, huh? So yeah, I think this is for Del Carlos Team Billet. I think on Instagram is his Instagram name. Uh, everybody knows I'm at Carlos from Team Billet. So yeah, huge shout out to Pale for bringing them to us. Uh, we're done with them. Well, we're done with this one. Gonna clean this one up, put it on the press, get the dimple dies out and then get them rolling because he needs the truck by Saturday. So right now we're going to go to North Jensen Auto Parts with my boy Miguel. I'm going to take you on that little journey with me. Let's see what we find out there. Lista para levantarle del piso, Eri. Tuvo cabrón quitarlo todo con la plasma de volar. Let's check it out. Mando did all the side and then Heriberto did the tub. Right now he got the whole floor loose. La están nivelando toda bien derechita. Because if y'all know Eddie, Eddie likes this shit straight. And we don't let none of this shit leave crooked. They're fixing to lift up the floor so they can start tag welding the whole thing. That way, once we get it, we'll put it on the truck. We'll know what uh, spaces we got to make with a certain height and everything. And we'll be able to slap this bed on that truck. Hopefully today. So we'll try, we'll try to get it out of here. What he says? vengo, Daddy. Te voy a traer tus partes. Yeah, so I gotta go get some parts from uh, Miguel over at Nord Jensen Auto Parts for this truck. It had missing leaf springs. The bolts on the leaf springs were trash. They were not the right bolts and everything, so we didn't want them to hollow out anything. So we're gonna go get the right parts to put on that truck. Boy, Mondo, welding everything up. You know, so you're gonna grind it smooth or no? Mm, or just leave it like that? Yeah, I'm gonna just leave it like that. Leave it like that and paint it all black? Yeah. Fucking meeting those little popcorns. <laughs> nah, so yeah, Mondo got the bumper all lined up. He got it all lined up. He's welding in all the brackets for the reinforcements. Uh, we could have just left it alone, put it under, welded it, but it was gonna be too fragile because it was only grabbing by like an inch of weld. I told him, man, just do all new gussets, re-weld them. And that way, if the customer ever hits anything or anybody or anything like that, that bumper ain't going nowhere. So he's doing that right now. Let's go to Nord Jensen Auto Parts. 
Let's go get some parts. Fine, uh, here it works. How's your foot? Ah, uh, fucked up. <laughs> Bro, I felt so guilty. I'm not, I'm telling you, I'm not laughing at you. I'm not laughing at you, it was just, it's crazy that, that I was literally saying shit like that. And then you're talking about, El Señor Que Soba, is he still by your mom's house? <laughs> Bro, no, my house is crying. Nah, but I really am checking up on you. I'm your dad, so. And if I don't see an improvement, uh, Alex gave me a number to the Sobador that goes to your house. Oh, yeah? He said he used him a few times while he was playing soccer. Is there a happy ending in the boat or no? No, man. Damn. He's like, dude's gonna make you cry, but I was like, man, fuck it, bro. Alright, I just wanted to record that for you, too. Es que, güey, ya cuando pasas 30, güey, ya, ya te comienza a doler todo, güey. A mí, ¿qué estás haciendo jugando sapo, güey? Woo! He's like, come on, bro, I need two more players. Two more players. It was worse than the T-ball games? Huh? It was worse than the T-ball games? The T-ball games? Yeah, you know how the little kids, they run around in circles, they sit oh, down on the yeah, gloves. You know, <laughs> she a grown-ass woman. Like, she just gave up from the get-go, like, fuck it, I'm going down, I'm not going to put my hands on the... Pareció que le hicieron con el taser, güey. That's when I'm corriendo in the taser, and they just freeze up and pop. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just put up to Miguel spot. I'm going to see if maybe him and his pops are here. If not, I'm just going to pay him a visit. Oh, man, I should have brought these guys some lunch or something. It's lunch hour. It's lunch time right now. Let's go check it out. You guys get out of here, No, you're behind All new shirts? Oh, look. Eh, yeah, check it out, yeah. Eh? Clean. What did you Ah. Agarramos una lady a Terra, se llama Terra Creations. Terra Creations, yeah, they look good. They look nice. Yeah, so we just pulled up. We're fixing to get some parts that uh, Miguel got for us. Some much needed parts because some of those trucks at the shop, no, hombre. I need to stop taking them to certain places, guys. Enjoy the little clips that we have here. If you need something, make sure you hit them up. It's 713-691-0330, yeah? Yes, sir. Yeah, se llama, ya me lo memorizé ese número. Sí, ya, So, ya need something, hit them up. He gets put on his list. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. So that's a newer model, huh? Yeah. Newer model 5.3. Oh, man. I said, oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Holy shit, this one's brand new. It's 2012. Oh, you know what? The wheels ain't even bad. So he has a set of full uh, Tahoe stocks right now as well. Get on the road. Get wheel. Okay, that's that 6-0? Yeah, 6-0. Running and driving? Yeah. Yeah, check it out. What, what your can you system, bro? Oh, two. Yeah, check it out. O two six O running and driving six O four lady transmission has a hit right here, but nothing's wrong with the motor. They turned it on a little while ago. I heard it running for myself. In stock, ready to go. So if you need a six O with the four O lady, hit them up because they have it in stock. He has some good merchandise. I haven't been here in about a month, pero there's a whole bunch of stuff that I can see. I'm gonna go walk around a little bit more. Guys, this is something you don't see too often. Dashboard with not one single crack on both of the pieces. Leather seats, front and rear with the center console. Electric door panels, check it out. Signal light mirrors. Guys, I know you guys are suckers for signal light mirrors. He has them in stock with a white cap. So if anybody needs them, they are right here. Tell them Roman from the setup sent you. So both mirrors, signal light mirrors in stock. 07 to 13, they got them, white caps with the turn signal. The dashboard on that thing is stupid clean. I need to jump on it because if y'all don't, someone else is gonna jump on that thing real quick. 03 Silverado. I was really thinking about doing the cat eye front end on my wife's truck, especially when I seen that they had posted this one. Y'all check out the seats. 10 seats, pretty clean, center console. Bose door panels, steering was in okay condition, but center console guys with the clean seats. The door panels are in pretty good shape too. Man, my boy Miguel got a whole bunch of clean stuff now. Uh, the last time I came, he had just crushed a whole bunch of cars, so there wasn't a lot of inventory. I couldn't get to record anything because, man, he had wiped this place out. Guys, 05 Yukon, color match caps with turn signals in stock. So check it out they got a obs tailgate it won't open because the latches aren't there but clean tailgate if you need a bedside he has a clean bedside clean driver's side fender old school steel mirrors for those that want to keep it old school look they're pretty clean you don't find these like that they're all pitted and rusted clean fender driver's side fenders clean i'm liking what he's got but i don't really have anything to put some of these parts on so i'm not going to be hoarding parts at the shop or nothing like that uh, claw seats Great claw seats for anybody that needs them a little dirty, but you can wipe them down The dashboard stupid clean on this truck. If you need a dashboard, he has it in stock jump seat Back seat it's clean too. It's just like I said, it's kind of dirty, but but you get somebody to go out there and just get a shampoo or so what I love it. I literally just walked through here and look I don't know if you can see it, but there's a big old spider over here Can you see it? Let's see I don't know if I can see it, but I don't know if I can see it, but I literally just walked through there and there was a huge spider web right there. Yeah, guys, y'all check them out. They have a whole bunch of stuff in stock, ready to go. Tell them Roman from the setup center that will take care of you. I'm gonna make my way to the front, pick up the parts that I need, say goodbye to them, and then head back to the shop because we got a lot of stuff that we gotta finish before the weekend, before we head to Texas Hold'em. Guys, if anybody wants to do a Denali front end swap on like a little 2000 single cab, check it out. Clean as hood, Denali front end, clean front bumper. You don't find those like that anymore either. They're always all cracked and whatnot, but he has a clean ass front end, full complete front clip, all the cladding and everything. Obviously you don't want the cladding for the whole truck, but this front end is super clean for like a two, 99 to 2000. When I single cab on a Denali front end, Man, they look really nice. Guys, another set of turn signal mirrors. Check out the passenger side seat on this truck. Stupid clean. Look at the center console.
steering wheel, the Nolly cluster, the driver's side seat. Check it out. It has stress marks, but it ain't cracked. Y'all better come jump on this one ASAP. Turn signal mirrors. They got them. Alright guys, so we just left, they just loaded us up. Excuse the mess in the back of the truck. But you know, stock leaf springs. Because if you take leaf springs off, your truck's gonna ride like crap. Don't do that guys. So we ended up getting the leaf springs because these are stock, they're unmolested, they're perfectly straight, nothing wrong with them. Guys, please, when you drop your trucks, do not, and I repeat, do not remove leaf springs. When you remove leaf springs, the tension's not the same, you get a bouncy ride. God damn, Bluetooth's loud. Yeah, you get a bouncy ride, it rides like crap, you will not like it. Don't ever let someone tell you, remove a leaf spring isn't a ride like stock. Because they're lying to you. So, let's head back to the shop. Uh, we'll start recording a little bit what we got going on over there. We got a lot of stuff going on that we have pending that we're trying to get out by the weekend. So, let's head on over there real quick. I'll catch you on a bit. So we're back at the shop. It's been a long eventful day. It's already 7.30. The guys are putting up the rides because we got to be out of here by 7, which means that they stay 30 minutes late. It's all good, though. It doesn't happen too often. I've been trying to get them to go home at 7 every day so I could go home to their families, rest, chill, and have a fresh start tomorrow. Yeah, check out the wells on the underbed. Heriberto never seems to stop amazing me, man. He gets down. Let me show you how the other side real quick. Really nice welds, as always. Heriberto always gets down. Uh, team effort, man. Mondo, leases, you know, they start cleaning up the frame. Mondo did the, what did you do, Mondo? You did the leaf springs, the shackles, the flip kit, Yeah. Uh, while Ulises was doing the front, they cleaned the frame. We were trying to get this truck out of here today, but unfortunately, when I went to North Jensen Auto Parts, I stayed there for a while and it killed a lot of our time. So they couldn't put the back together. Cause I wasn't here with the part, so my fault. But the front's done. Check it out. DJM upper and lower controllers, new inners, new outers, new struts, new rotors, new brake pads, new sway bar links. Everything on the front suspension is new, so it's gonna ride way better than what it had before. Did you lock the, front, the, the door for the office? Did I what? Did you lock the door for the office? No. It's locked. I swear. Yeah. Who locked it? You. No, how, how would I lock it? I just walked out of the little one. Se la kill? 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 Se Yeah, y'all check out that front bumper, man. Mondo and the guys, man, they struggle to put that bumper on because that bumper is no joke. That thing is super heavy. But we got it under, we got it fixed up. It wouldn't fit because of the body lift, so we had to do all new brackets, and it turned out amazing. I'm gonna head on home, guys. I'll see y'all at the shop tomorrow. Stay tuned because this video's not over yet. Guys, you ever heard of Transformation Tuesday? Well, what about Transformation Friday? God damn, I needed a haircut. Shout out to my boy Tito for always getting me right. Whew, I feel 30 pounds lighter, guys. Let's get to work because we got a lot going on, guys. So for a long time, guys, I've been trying to get somebody to do C10 tubs on an OBS bed. And finally, Chase gave us the opportunity. I showed it to him. He's like, I wonder what it looks like. So we're like, F it, let's find out. So we're going to slap C10 tubs on the OBS bed that Eddie's working on. 
Let me show y'all real quick what, just kind of a glimpse of what it's gonna look like. So Edilberto's gonna trim them down, cut them down, bring them down, and then put them flushed on the bottom of this right here. So if you look at these, they have like some grooves, a factory little body line, stuff like that. So it'll match all the sides and everything. I think this is gonna go for a much better look. It's a little bit of extra work, but it's gonna look nice. $150 special bell liner. That's them $200 uh, bell liner specials. ¿Qué está haciendo Curtis? Eh, vamos a tener que hacerle los links y todos los brackets de abajo nuevo a esta vez. Ya. Yeah. Oh, son tornillos grandes, ¿verdad? ¿Sí se quitan? Sí, ya lo quitan. Ah, ¿es uno que tiene la herramienta, tú? ¿Eh? ¿Uno que tiene la herramienta? <laughs> so, what Ulises is doing right there? He's about to take the differential off of this ram because after a whole bunch of measuring and doing little precautionary stuff that we always do, we were just gonna narrow the rear end three quarters of an inch. But by doing that, the caliper was gonna hit on the lower links. If it hits on the lower links and we move those, and it was gonna hit on the back mount. And then the lower links, we're gonna have to redo again because of the way that they are bent is not clearing all the way. So we're gonna have to redo those as well. So this truck came in with just a little bit of minor work here and there, which ended up turning into a whole disaster, which we're gonna redo, take care, and get this guy back on the road. Miren, guys, lo que no saben es que ya llevo como una media hora aquí mirando a Mando y no ha dejado el teléfono. ¿Sabes qué sí, Mando? No te miro. Oh, the fucking light. <laughs> the light's blinding. Ya lo cortaste, ya está pre y todo. Yeah. I just grind it. Yo no sé por qué lo tapan, güey, si tienen free AC ahí, güey. O heater, bro, pero. Guys, ya que have free heater, all you gotta do is just not cover the hole. You'll be good to go. For those of you that don't know, this is Isaiah's truck. It's a short bed OBS truck. It's on 24 by 15 reverse lift. And 24 by 9 in the front or 22? 24, I think it's 24 all the way around. But the guy's already, Mondo's already doing the firewall. Uh, the back half is already done. The rear end's already been narrowed. The axles are here. Everything is at powder coat right now. As we speak, it's getting painted. It's getting powder coated candy red. And that's basically it for this truck. So it's gonna be on coilovers, out in American coilovers at that, all the way around. Uh, full back half, like I said, everything's already powder coated. Uh, the guys already started relocating some stuff in the front and they already started doing the tub. So they're getting good progress on this truck while we're waiting for everything to come back from powder coat. Hopefully by the time everything comes back from powder coat, we could just start slapping everything back on, build the fuel cell and then do the bed and that'll be the last thing. But for right now, they already did the fenders. So
check out the tongue on the fenders. Already played it, welded and everything. Oh, love that. Really? I was gonna ask you, uh, if right now it would have been better to send my fucking disc to a good party for it, huh? Yeah, because it's like Yeah, because I wanted a party for it. Red on it. Jose, if you're hearing this, one of my guys needs his uh, lift kit powder coated. I need you to take care of him for me, please. I would really appreciate it. But yeah, uh, guys, if y'all need anything powder coated, don't hesitate on bringing it to me, man. We'll take it to my boy. Uh, we'll try to get you a good price on everything. We've done a couple of kits for other shops and stuff like that that we don't post. So we don't post them because they're not ours, but we do a lot of them for a lot of people. They bring them to me. I take them over there. I get them handled. And it's quality work, a quality job and you save some money so hit me up if you need it and we'll get you taken care of no se deja ahí le dije hermano que para que hacía la fire wall y si ahí le dejan aire acondicionado gratis calentador ¿verdad? calentador pero no como quiera also guys, y'all check out Tito's truck. We're in the process of welding that in. And then we got the Boyd welding fuel tank and the Boyd welding filler cap that we're gonna relocate up here. And we're gonna cover this one up right there. You see it? And we got all the filler strips that are gonna go all the way around. Already measured out, cut out, cleaned up, ready to slap it on there. So hopefully, hopefully, hopefully by next week, this truck will be out. Like I said, this one was on the back burner for a while because he didn't have space right at the shop, but he hit me up and said, hey man, I'm ready to roll. So now we're gonna knock it out, so. Once we get all that done, he's gonna take it to his shop, put some wood floor with billet strips, and it should look amazing when it's done. He also has some new wheels for the front. Whenever we get this truck out of here, I'll show y'all absolutely everything that we did to it because it don't look like much here, but we're gonna clean it up and show you everything that we did to it. It's a whole lot of work. La Pantilla. Yeah, okay, let it up, bro. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah. show or no one need show? So Mondo wants to go. You? I want to go too, but well, I, I don't want to go. Man, I'm, fuck your haircut. I'm, 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 don't fuck, no. I'm going to go. Fuck the haircut. Well, dude. Go to Texas, hold on. Go to Texas, hold on. Or get a haircut. Get a haircut. Hey, are you tripping? Well, I do want to go for that it's a nice show. I like it. So they're debating whether they want to go or they don't want to go. I'm telling them to go, but at least they're saying that he has to get a haircut after work, and I'm like, nah, let's go. Hey, todo depende de ti. ¿Vas a ir al show o no? No. No vas a ir? No. ¿De verdad no vas a ir? Try it. ¿Por qué no? Cut. Let me cut it. Cut it. Hi guys. So they're trying to decide whether they want to go to Texas Hold'em or not. I'm gonna go. I wanna go have some fun. I need to get out of here for a little bit. We've been working our asses off all week. Heriberto doesn't wanna go respectfully. Hey, I understand if he doesn't wanna go, he doesn't wanna go. It's cool. But the guys are kinda of bummed out that he doesn't wanna go because they want him to go. We want him to go. I offered the guys a hundred bucks to go to the show to have fun. What better offer can you get? You get paid a hundred bucks to go to the show and have fun. Shit, I would have taken that. But um, hey, priorities are priorities and I respect that. So I'm gonna let them handle that and I'm gonna go ahead and do payroll today. Today's Friday. We usually don't do it till Saturday, but it is what it is. Uh, we'll see how it takes us home. We're gonna have some fun out there. If y'all see me with the camera, make sure to say what's up. Uh, guys, don't forget the giveaway ends the last day of May. So you want to go online and cop some of that merch so that you can get your entries in. Trust me, this is a giveaway you don't wanna miss out. I really appreciate everybody that's ordered anything from us. And uh, good luck to everybody, guys. I'll catch you on the next video, all right? Peace.